So my name is Iso Basi, and uh, like she said, I'm executive director of LIT, Lead Inspire Transform. We're a non-profit organization, and one of our focus areas is, you know, entrepreneurial development. And uh, we approached the EDC some time ago, and we thought it was a good idea to collaborate with them. And they bought the idea, and today we've got got the business bridge. Um, I just, I just want to want emphasize, to emphasize that, that it's, an, it's a monthly, monthly event. event. So, so we'd love, love to see you here. And, and the good, good thing about, about Business Bridge is that every month, month we seem to see new faces, faces maybe depending, depending on, on the sectors that we, that we cover, cover them. them. So, so let me join the EDC in welcoming you to this edition of Business Bridge. We want to now concentrate on the small companies, the SMEs. Among these are the incentives that the exporter and potential exporters enjoy for participating in NEPC sponsored programs abroad. NEPC's effort at assisting MEEs include human capacity building. We have, um, we have one in Lagos with their Agua structure where we train people in shirt making for export to US. There's one in Aba, the Aba leather facility uh, is, is, is a two-story building one is for garments and one is for leather products there is one that is coming up in Uyo on seafood NEBSA which is my organization provides initiatives for the nature of SMEs required to operate in NEBSA with ACT which was enacted in 1992 with the setting up of various free trade zones in the country there's a roadmap to accelerating business opportunities because we are worried by the incessant and continuous issues of non-acceleration of businesses in the country. That's why NEBSA has come up to put this together where people come with their finance. We give you the land, we make every enabling environment um, okay for you to do your business. because some of those countries cannot grow those things that we have. For example, if you take ginger for example, ginger all over the place, they need it as an export product and as a raw material for a thousand of things that they are doing. But we need to have it processed. You need to peel it you need to dry it, you need to package it in order to cash in on that export. Why ginger and many things like that? Ginger grows abundantly in our backyards. The things that they talk of export are things that we have in abundance. It will not cost you much to produce. Sometimes you don't even have to produce. Go to the places where you, found it, you can find these things and bring them together. Gather it, do secondary processing. Secondary processing is you bring it from the selection, you make another selection to make it neater, and then you process. 